guys welcome Because I don't know. I feel like all kids should come with slip solution, but it doesn't. That's why I use alcohol most of the time because kids don't come with the slip anymore. So this is everything that comes in the kit. Here are the swatches and they're numbered. Super pretty. These are really pretty. It's giving me like Valentine's Day vibes, which is perfect because February is right around the corner. So I think I'm definitely going to do like a Valentine's look with this color. But for today, I'm feeling like doing a rose quartz um, nail type of look. So I think for that, I'm going to use the color. I think I'm going to use... My nails are so crusty, guys. It's crazy. I be doing nails, but my nails look so crusty all the time. But anyway, I think I'm going to go with 001 and 005. For today's look so yeah these are super pretty so for this tutorial I won't be going over prep if you would like to know how to prep your natural nails I'm gonna link a video above here so starting off I'm going to be using full nail covers I have the link to these in the bio but I'm gonna take these and size them out on to my nails prior to putting the poly gel in them you want to make sure that your nail covers are wall to wall. Don't go with a nail cover that it doesn't fit wall to wall. If it's too small, always opt for the bigger one. And what you can do to make it fit your nail perfectly is take an emery board or a nail file and file it down. So I'm going to be using some white acrylic paint. You can get this paint from Walmart. You can get this paint from anywhere. Um, I'm going to be taking a pointed brush. This is like a regular paintbrush and just making small little strokes. Um, as you can see, I kind of squiggled it because I didn't want the lines to be perfect. If you don't have a steady hand, actually this might work really good for you because you know your hand will do the squiggles itself. So you can kind of do that as a trick, act like you don't have a steady hand and it will give you like the perfect lines to replicate a rose quartz. So I'm flipping over the nail cover to see what it looks like in the front because always remember to flip over your nail cover throughout the whole process before curing because what you see on the front is what you will get. So 
So I'm going to be using this gold foil. I got this a long time ago from a brand called Glitter Injections. I don't even know if they're still like out now. But if they are, definitely check them out. I'm going to put that down and I'm actually going to take um, a base coat. I'm going to be taking the base coat in this kit and I'm going to apply it near the lines and where I want the gold flakes to go. And I'm also going to be using the pointer with the wax tip that came in the kit as well. This pointer with the wax tip alone is phenomenal. It's so pretty. I love it. It gives you the perfect application. Like it picks up anything, crystals, everything. So I'm going in with the color 001. This is the only color that I actually use throughout this video. And I'm going to be going in with their slip solution. And I'm just going to apply the poly gel as I would any regular nail cover. No special tricks. I'm just going to apply it in there and pat it in. So when you're applying poly gel in your nail covers, you want to make sure that you're spreading it out evenly, except for at the base where the cuticle is. You want that to be thinner because um, you don't want it to overflow. But if it does, I'm going to show you how I wipe it up. So I'm going to be using a fake hand. I'm so excited. I just got this fake hand off of Amazon and I actually really like it. Um, if you guys want the link to it, let me know, but I'm trying to figure out a name for her. So if you have any suggestions, please leave them down below. But like I said, if you get any excess poly gel, just take your brush and swoop it around and clean it right off. You want to make sure that you clean it off prior to curing your nail, because if you try and do it after, it won't. It's cured. It's going to be stuck there and it's going to look very choppy if you try to take it off that way. So just make sure you're taking it off before. But like I said, um, if you have any suggestions for a name for her, then let me know down in the comments. I'm really not sure, but I'm so in love. I'm going to be able to pump out even more videos because doing, you know, doing nails on your hand is tricky because, you know, you want to take care of your own natural nails and there's only so much peel off base coat you can use. So I'm going to be doing the same method. I'm just going to speed it up now and let you guys watch me work.
Now I'm gonna go in with alcohol and a pad and I'm just gonna wipe those nails down because poly do, poly do, what? Poly gel, <laughs> poly gel can leave a sticky residue and you wanna wipe the underneath of your nails as well. with their top coat now and just top it off and cure it. Do you guys see I tried to make her little hand like me with all the rings? Because everybody always comments on my rings. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with another pad and some alcohol and just wipe it off. Um, since this is not a no wipe top coat. Girl, I really went in with cuticle oil. I'm looking back at this like, was this necessary? I don't know. Are you supposed to put oil on a silicone hand? Listen. I don't know, but I just did it as if it was my hand, and here are the final results. I'm so in love with this nail look. Like, low-key, I wish I had did them on my hands and, like, really prepped my nails because they're just beautiful, like, so gorgeous. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please be sure to leave me a like and let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you for getting through the whole video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>